welcome to Blur Dimension, the road to Halo Infinite. Um, this Woo! is a this is a joyous day. We get to talk all about Halo. All you fucking haters out there that always shit on Halo over the last few years. Um, this is our year. We're gonna gloat. You're gonna get tired of all of this shit that we're gonna put out about Halo. And you're gonna learn to love it. You're gonna come over. You're gonna you're gonna join us. Trust me. Hey, hey, we're a good bunch of people. Up Absolutely. Here. Mm -hmm. Master Chief Yo. treats everybody fair. You know. Mm -hmm. um, just just come join us. Um, so my name is not Sir. Uh, we have the Blurred Dimension crew. Uh, we got J.K. Beast Turtle. Yo. We have Tech Create Techivity. What's up, everybody? We Ew. have Negrito Suave. What you fucking say? What up? We have Naslinja. Everybody. And we have the infamous Red Square. Wow. What's going on, guys? So uh I want to start off. Um I don't even like I'm so I I'm I'm geeked up. I, I really wanna uh just dive right into this this Halo stuff. Um the first thing I want to talk about is like what's everybody's story with the Halo franchise? Like what was the first like moment that you either picked up Halo Halo One or Halo Two? Uh some moments with the original Xbox. Like when did you all get into the Halo franchise? I'm gonna start with you, Carl. Um what was what's like your Halo story? Yes, man. Um at this time I didn't I wasn't going to fan you yet. I started my journey at FSU. Boo. And it was I think it was um spring semester, my freshman year. People were talking about Halo's really nice, Halo's cool. And then, you know, uh you know, student loan net check came in. You know, <laughs> gotta get myself a Got myself a 27 inch, which was big back then. Don't worry about when that was. And um, picked up an Xbox and picked up Halo. And then I plugged it into the wall. I was I was on an off-campus dorm at the time. It was called Osceola Hall. I don't know what it's called now, but plugged into the wall and I saw three other Xboxes just there. And that was a lost semester for me. <laughs> I don't think I went back to class after that. Like literally, after Damn. That, I. So when you say plug it into the wall, you mean you plug the Ethernet uh, yeah, into the yeah. wall? Yes. And um, my GPA that semester was point two. Good gracious. Good call. Jesus. <laughs> Yo. Point two for Halo. <laughs> so I woke up. I played Halo. Uh, went downstairs to eat a couple times a day, played Halo, and I'd go to bed like three o'clock almost every night playing Halo. So how did you tell yourself? How did you tell life. yourself that you were going to be all right that semester? Like, what was the lie you told yourself every day? Because you had to do it every day. What lie was that? No, nah, you don't have to do it every day. I just, it was just two weeks. After two weeks, it's like I'm not coming back from this. So it's like. <laughs> It's over. Keep it going, though. It's right. Sunken it's cost. Late. It's too late. Yeah. <laughs> just keep it going. Might as well enjoy it. At that point, you're just like, it's just, just fuck it. It's, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to win. Exactly. Damn. And, like, it, people didn't really stay up with me that way. So I'd, I'd play a whole bunch of games. But once you hit, like, 12, 1 o'clock, people start trickling off. So I would just play with myself learning the spawn spots so i the next time i play it i'm like i kill him oh yeah he's gonna spawn right here Bap. and uh yeah i was that guy i was that guy but uh, do you still remember him because even though we play uh halo uh, C, I don't, no, uh, you know. i don't really remember combat of all spawn spots like that um and i never really i never really did that with um the other halos because xbox live was there so there was no need for me to fill time you know so it was because nobody's gonna play with me at three in the morning so i'm like let me learn these spawn spawn spots but yeah uh, i lost i lost 
two, three months of my life just gone. <laughs> the Halo. Yeah, I never stopped playing Halo. If you had to pick a way, I mean, it makes sense. Uh, uh, Gresson, you there's there's worse things you can lose two months of your life to. So you chose the absolute perfect person. I don't think anybody has a story. Like no, nah, I, yeah. I remember. Uh, I remember him talking about that in, a, in previously. Um, oh, uh, so I was like, yeah, yeah but I definitely got it. I heard him say that too, but I didn't know about the like the extent at which it was like it was Halo just that whole semester. Like I've heard him say that, but I yeah. didn't. I didn't when they came in my dorm, I didn't really, you know, I didn't go. Th- so that year I lost my driver's license and at the, so I at, I was born I'm born in Jamaica right so they changed the rule where if you go to get a new one you got to bring your green card now like a dummy I was like do you they asked me do you want to register to vote and I'm like no I don't want to register to vote I'm not a citizen yet and they're like Oh, well, do you have your green card? I was like, well, not on me. I'm like, okay, yeah, well, we can't give it to you. And uh, you got to come back within 60 days or your license is suspended. Okay, my green card is back at home. It's not, I, I didn't bring that with me to college. And so my license got suspended. So I can't go, you can't go to the club because you got to bring your ID to the club. So there was no club for me all freshman year. So, like I'm not going anywhere sexy. So it's just the dorm, gym and once in a while, and, and Halo. Wow. That's it. Couldn't come out at a perfect time. And you got to you got to experience like the the classic like LAN party Halo. Like it was not... all about that LAN party. Cause that's crazy. It's made for the dorm, man. Cause you just yeah. you just put it into the wall and guaranteed between for at least 12 hours of the day, somebody's online in the dorm. And then if uh, the ideal situation is if uh, somebody on your floor plugged in and like you did an assassination or oh, you, you, hear, know, you, you hear you hear that reaction. Yelling, <laughs> oh, that's the best. Like, Damn. Yes, I just embarrassed you. Little tea bag real quick and you hear him cursing down the hall. It's a wonderful thing. Did y'all ever like put tea bag that, that originated in Halo? Oh yeah. Did um did you all like put your uh apartment numbers like in your um in your in your name, your gamer tag or whatever? I did not. But my uh my dorm was always a popular dorm because mine was 420. I was on the fourth floor. And people were like, Oh you you're in 420? <laughs> I'm like <laughs> I was like a straight edge kid prior to college, so I didn't know what the heck people oh, were talking man. about. I'm like, oh yeah, I guess that's cool. You're in 420. That's like you being so, in like apartment 69, and you're like, oh, you're in 69. 69. I guess yeah. it's one away from 70. I don't know. That's the only reason I remember. You may be in 69, but you're not getting none. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and they would be right. I was getting nothing. <laughs> but them dubs in Halo though, and that's really in comparison. Yeah. What matters? I should get a Halo, <laughs> and then I had Xbox Live, and then reality set in. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. It was like Xbox Live came, and then you were just like, oh yeah, that's right. It's like playing I'm basketball awful. in your hometown, and then you go to yep. like some t- some. Uh, like nationwide tournament, and you realize, like, oh, we we just all suck, all of us, like everybody from where I'm from is bad at basketball. Absolutely, <laughs> I just stuck a little bit less than them. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I, I thought I was the man. I'm like, man, doing all kinds of stuff. So you go there, you're like, all garbage, guys. Fourth and fifth grade, I was that dude on the court. Sixth grade happened. A few people hit a growth spurt, and I did not. Damn. Damn. It'd be like reverse that. course a little bit. <laughs> Karma, man. You were you were dominating too 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 long. I was dominating. And you're then, probably not nice about it. I was nice. God. I was yeah. Sure. Yeah, you're not. just blocking little kids and wave, waving your finger in their face. Like I didn't the finger. I don't wave the finger, but I'm blocking everybody. Like if I played my daughters right now, I'm blocking them. No question about it. Yeah. Swat. 
That's how you gotta, you gotta do. You gotta raise them right. Yeah. They gotta level. They gotta level up. There's no freebies. Exactly. <laughs> That's it. Get good. Yeah. Cool. Um. But, so shortly after Halo One, Halo Two, Xbox Live. Um. Talk about that a little a uh, little bit. Yeah. So. Um. <laughs> All right. So. I was supposed to be going to school at this point still, um, but I decided, you know what? I'm broke. I need some more money. So I was working at Target overnight as an overnight stalker. So what turned out happening was I would come home from Target, I'd go to sleep, and then I'd wake up just in time to shower and go back to work. So um at least this time, though, I was able to withdraw before my GPA was solidified, because I was gonna get, I was gonna get a zero point oh that semester. Um, so, all that to say, I went into Target. Um, I had it pre-ordered, and I walked. I walked from Target to GameStop to pick up my game. I'm incredibly tired. So I probably got there around eight o'clock. Got it from GameStop, walked back to my house because I didn't have a car or a bike. How, and how, proceeded. how, what's the, what's the distance from the Target so you to know, the GameStop? Well, you know where Target is on Appalachia, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I lived in Jefferson Point, aka Seminole Grand. Yeah, so he lived basically so like that's, that's like close a, to the midtown. That like a forty-five minute walk. Probably longer. Nah, I'm a first of all, I'm a slow walker, and yeah, I'm forgetting about these hills. You're confused. Um, I've seen these oh hills. yeah, it's yeah, not, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not forty-five because you got to think. Uh, basically, where he was walking, there's a major highway, and then that's not a highway. That's it. There's two intersecting or major streets. Streets. It's Tallahassee. There's no oh, highways. Street. Yeah, exactly. Major streets. Two major streets <laughs> intersect, right? But there's no regular way to walk back to where he's going. Like he's he's, there's, he's there's gotta, no straight roads. Remember? Yeah, it's it, it's it, everything is crisscross, crisscross. Yeah, that's like a couple. That's like an hour and some change. It's an hour and some change. So, Good Lord. and that's if I was going to my house. I have to out. I have to overshoot my house to get to GameStop because I got it from uh, Ocala. It was Ocala Corners, uh, GameStop, if you remember. Mm. That. And that's so a super that, long walk. Yeah, that's real long. That's a long and drive. I back to my house, cause um, and I went up High Road. <laughs> Just walking up High Road's tired, cause that hill is ridiculous. Yeah, that's that's. So he basically went from east to west of Tallahassee, like yeah, to I, I like Tallahassee, on foot. It's east on to west foot. on foot. That's and then I went home. And played Halo until about twelve o'clock. Went to sleep. Uh, I don't remember if I no called, no showed, or if I called in. I don't remember, but um, I didn't go to work for about two to three days. Did they catch and, on? Uh, it didn't matter because so it, you get a couple no call, no shows uh, without them firing you. The subsequent ones already knew what time it was, so I just called in. So as long as you call in, uh, it's cool because they're they're not. It's not like you got a salary; they're not paying you anyway. So, yeah. So for three or so days, I didn't work. I didn't go to school, and it was Halo Benders. Uh, and so basically, Halo Halo One and Two ruined your college career. A drug. There was a reason. Uh, I looked a little older, Crescent, when you saw me at FAM, and there's a reason I was at FAM and didn't graduate from FSU. Just saying. Dang. <laughs> It'd be like that. It's funny that Halo's that reason because that's not everybody's story. Like usually, it's, <laughs> right? so, it's drugs. It's it's like it would. It's relationships. I I can't blame Halo. Clearly. Uh, my 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 outlook and attitude was not in the right place if you're trying to be a successful college student 
but uh, Kayla was there to pick up the pieces for me, so I went ahead and indulged Damn. like an addict. Hey, I mean, Halo's that good, you know. I I can't yeah, can't blame cool. you. I I probably would have did the same thing in that in that situation. Um, so Kev, starting with you, what um, what uh, what are some uh, what's your what's your Halo, Halo background? Um, man, that's a good question. Hey, but like we like we played them all. Like I played Halo with uh with my brothers. Like we were a lot of kids, <laughs> and so we got we would get like one system a year, and that was everybody's system. Um, and so, you know, Xbox came out, Halo came out, we played the, um, we didn't have the, did you get, did you get Halo like at any launch? internet? I, I don't remember. Probably not. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Probably not. I got it. I got it in a bargain bin. It was like yeah. the really? platinum, platinum hits or shit. whatever that shit was. Oh, that's called. where you got combat yeah. all from? Yeah. Yeah. I was Damn. late. I was late. Yeah. I don't remember what. At what point we were at when uh, when we got? I mean, it had to it had to have been on sale. I'm gonna be honest. Like we, I highly doubt we got nearly any game like at launch. Um, but you know, we played the uh, we played the campaign through. Like we was hooked. Like we played it. Um, you know, played it co op one and two. Um, and then three came out, and uh, my my older brother had live, Ooh. and so we started playing online. Oh, we was on that shit like hours, hours and hours, just like passing the controller. Who like whoever get the lower score, pass the controller. Yes. Oh, I hated Those that. Are the rules. <laughs> That's the rules. That's the rules. That's all the rules. You got the lowest score, you gotta give up the hey, man. That's it. Pass hey, it, pass it. Question, it. question. Um so you know how, you know, three sixty, you know, we all we, we look back at it and we're like, Oh man, that was such a great system. But we gotta admit that that was some bullshit when the they uh, were trying to sell you that Wi-Fi adapter for like fifty dollars. Oh, yeah, that was crazy. And... I bought it, man. <laughs> you said I bought it. Yeah. Nah. Not only that, I bought the Logitech controller that gave you the wireless. Do you mm. remember that? Mm-hmm. The thing. First of all, I thought it looked baller, and then <laughs> um, it looks super. I bad. know what you're talking about. Hold on, though. please hold. That's the only time you could. So that's that was the only controller I was willing to buy that wasn't a Microsoft controller because people would buy those Mad Cats and break them in like two days, oh, right? Yeah, them giants. Oh. That's a no go. Oh, that's an ugly controller, bro. Very. No, that thing was bars. Stop it. Did you find it? Oh my gosh, that thing is ugly. Post it. Wait, I might be looking up. Can I share a screen real quick? Yeah, yeah. This thing is hideous. That's ugly controller. It's it's a it's a horrible. Oh my controller. gosh, that thing looks like a it looks like a mad cat. You said it. How how dare you? Can you guys see it? How dare you? No, not yet. It says watch stream. Uh, what? Uh, oh, uh, let, let me let me see what you got right here. I remember oh, this controller. Oh my gosh, bro. it looked like if you took if you took the duke and just rounded every corner. This thing is selling for 19 bucks. Whoever car, car you buy no again. receiver. How are you gonna use this? Whoever designed no that. receiver. What do you mean? <clears throat> oh, you know, it doesn't connect the damn yeah. thing. Yeah. So <laughs> just, just put it on the... That thing is looks like a capital M. Why? It's not a nice looking <laughs> controller. It's not, it's, hey, this look like some shit they'd uh, put in like a cartoon if they were trying uh, to like you know not get. I remember this. Get oh, I remember that. I remember yeah, this. Man. Yeah, yeah, that shit was tight. Wait, we said JK. What the fuck is this in the bottom left? What the fuck? Uh, Turbo. Disgusting. Nah. And that Xbox logo. Is no. Disgusting. Uh, that's, how, that's how you know a lot of people got fired back then. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh, I remember this drink too. Yeah, no, I had with the, just the solid green in the middle. We had this. Yeah, my brother had that one. Yeah, yeah. we had this. Look at those. Look at those like controller adapter. Yeah, connected. Yeah. Like, yeah. what is that? I have no fucking idea. Yeah, sure what? We're on the same page, real quick. I didn't catch it. 
Oh, go back to the Logitech one. I think it's right here. Ugh. Beautiful, right, Carl? I had different memories of it. That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> that nostalgia, nostalgia clouding you. Yeah. 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 Look at those curves, the smooth lines. Uh, it's just so revolutionary. Talk it's about it. wireless, controller. guys. It's wireless. Uh, okay. Uh, 360 had wireless, wireless controllers. This, wireless. Right. 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 But this is for the original. That's original. Yeah, yep. that's original. Uh, yeah. 18 bucks right now. Bro, that's crazy. A deal. It's Go retro. ahead and get you one. It's that retro, man. Right. Now that it's retro, they can sell it for eighteen bucks again. I do have these controllers were thick. thick. I've had thick. I had that one. I, had I hated that. Yeah, one. two C's thick. Yeah, oh, yes. we went from this to like to Did this. You prefer the Duke? I prefer the Duke. Yeah. yeah. The the big controller, yeah, like the original. Yeah, me too. Oh, gee, man, I used the uh, the white button for the first. Oh, the GameStop blue controller. We had one of these. Disgusting. Very yeah, cool. utterly disgusting. I My mom thought it was a right. deal. Nah. I couldn't. <laughs> I could not get to the. It was, was a deal, like, to be fair. I think I'm like holding a dinner plate trying to press buttons on it. Like that's what it felt <laughs> like. <laughs> with the Xbox Let's talk about a third-by game. I remember this awesome. game, Hollow yeah. Chips 2K. I'm not sure if you guys ever played this, but I we, 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 we my brothers played this together. I played Halo. That's, it. <laughs> that's fair. I played Halo. <laughs> The we played the NHL. I did get Dance Dance. I, I thought we played constantly because my mom was terrified that Halo would be too violent. So we didn't get Halo. Well, that's, well, that's my turn. But, yeah. Football's not violent enough? Say again. Football's not violent? Mm, that shit didn't think it was violent. American violence. Good old American yeah. violence. Um... All right, so Swab, where do we where do we leave off? Um, Crazy. So you had uh, what was it? Um, where do we where do we leave off? Uh, three sixty, maybe. Yeah, you you were. Oh uh, yeah, so you Xbox were saying... Live, Xbox Live, and yeah. I was talking shit about the wireless adapter, which was. Uh, yeah, shit. yeah, it was. I paid for. I everything. mean, my brother just kept his next to the router and plugged it up. Yeah, that's a solid strategy. Absolutely. And so just oh, you the house that around thing. the router. Exactly, exactly. The entire house just moves around the TV. All that stuff is around the router. Like, yeah, that's, mm-hmm. that makes sense. Cool. That so had to be wireless, man. So <laughs> one, two, one, two, three, um, and like your lifelong Halo fan. After that, any other Halos? After after two. Yep. After two. After two like we played the first one. And we was hooked. And then we played the second. We was like, oh shit. Like this is this is the shit right here. We gotta get the like that was it. Every other Halo had to have it. Yeah, yeah exactly. That yeah, that the two did take it to the next level with Xbox Live. That was Xbox that shit Live, was... dual wielding, the battle rifle. Bruh. The mm-hmm. graphic, dual wielding. The graphic upgrade was it was that shit was I I remember that first demo. I mean that they they showed at E3. That shit with them riding on the uh, was it New Mombasa, and on the on the war on the uh, Scorpion tank. Mm, yeah. oh, that shit was Psh, man. That shit was crazy. Um, Kev, anything mm-hmm. else uh you want to highlight from the origins of being hooked to Halo? Uh no nah, no nah, I'm gonna let us continue. Cool. What about you, AJ? Uh, so I kind of like it started with my my older cousin. My 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 dad has a twin sister, and her sons are significantly older than uh, me and my siblings. And so they're pretty much grown, uh, and they can you know get their own systems and stuff. So when we were younger, we used to play games with them when they were teenagers, and then as they got older, we kind of just like hung on there every word. So. One day we had some family gathering where, you know, everybody's at one person's house. I don't even remember what the event was. It could have just been summertime for all I know. But um, they were playing Halo in a room. We were talking about anime, but we were walking through a room and I was just, I just saw it. And I'm going to tell you, my immediate opinion was, ugh. Like, I didn't like it. (laughs) I looked at it and I was like, Halo 1, Combat Evolved. Not interested, right? So I was just like, not interested in that. I'm a GoldenEye person, right? Like me, and my siblings, wow. we we play GoldenEye every day, every every weekend. We would play Golden. We we would split 
our weekend, so 24 hours, we would split it eight hours a piece between like Golden Eye, uh, WCW versus NWO two, uh, and like one or two other games. We would kind of like split our weekends, but Golden Eye and oh, and Smash Brothers. So it was like those mm-hmm. three were really pretty much our weekends. Like back when, uh, this is like right before I moved to Florida, we would play those games exclusively. Unfortunately. So, <laughs> so when I moved, when I moved down here, um. We we're you know family gatherings where you're just seeing all your cousins and stuff they were playing halo in one room and we were talking to anime kind of as we walked through it and i was just like it doesn't look bad you know it's not golden i don't really care i, I don't think i'll be i i i figured i would never play another shooter again because golden i was like phasing out i was okay. like well i'm not really a shooter fan anyway so i'll never play another shooter shooter again so uh that year i got the ps2 um and so the way my family was set up is it on birthdays was the only time you got those kind of gifts, but everybody got like a big gift. So I got the PS2. So if I got the PS2, my brother has to get the Xbox. Now I know they didn't come out the same year, but the year the Xbox came out, my brother's like, okay, it's my turn to get a system. And so we get the Xbox and we go into GameStop and we can't pick a game out. So we got to get two games. We got to get one game that my little sister can play. So we got Pac-Man. That was a fantastic. No, it was terrible. It was a terrible game. <laughs> <laughs> So we got Pac-Man, and we could not decide on a game. I mean, we were like, we were just so disappointed in the selection. We were like, there's no games. And I was like, man, you want to get Halo? Gason said that was good. And we're like, man, just get it. Like, right? We go home, and it's just like 30 minutes in, boom. Just the whole braids exploded all over the place. We're like, I don't know why we was hitting on this in the first place. And we would literally play that game all day we would literally we would play the dumbest games we would we would do dumb things that like we would just be in the world walking around talking to each other while we're just like walking around doing stuff we play stupid sniper games before snipers was a thing where we just like okay everybody just get a sniper and we you know we're not you know everybody everybody is is in, t- pick your corner first start your start in your corner and then we'll all try to like work around the map and whoever gets the most kills obviously yeah and obviously the person with least amount of kills because at this time, is me, my three siblings, and then my cousin Mikey. So that's five. They they five slots in that Xbox. Somebody got to give it up every turn. And so we were hooked after one. Like I remember, my first impression was I did not like the way it looked. I didn't think it was interesting. I was like, I don't care. And then when we had no choice, we got it, and it was like this the best game ever. And so after that, we just got every Halo. And I don't have a favorite. My favorite is the newest Halo, whatever, whichever one comes out. So Infinite is my new favorite. Will be well, <laughs> no, even if it well, sucks, it's 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 the it's gonna be my favorite as long as the graphics are better oh. and the controls are 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 similar to the old ones. Why wouldn't it be my favorite? I don't have a I'm not I'm not that uh, I'm not that into like the the game mechanics as much as I was just like I kind of just liked the look and feel of the game as a shooter. And then I play other shooters and I was like they're not Halo, so now it's taking the place of GoldenEye, obviously. And I played GoldenEye recently. It is a terrible, it's terrible. game. It's terrible. It's terrible. It I don't age. know. It, it was just the first either. shooter you ever had. So you're like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's the greatest better. shooter. Yeah. You that and Perfect Dark. Oh, oh yeah, my yeah. gosh. GoldenEye is terrible. I recommend everybody, if you get an opportunity to play GoldenEye again, you will play for 30 seconds. And then you'll be like, I can't move, look, shoot. None of it None of it works. It's weird. It's so weird. Put it down and click yeah. that system off. Even a N64 controller as a whole, like I, I'm like, how the fuck did we play games with this shit? Like it's everybody held it differently. Have you ever watched yeah, like people yeah. holding it? And I was like, maybe I should hold it like they hold it. Like that seems way more comfortable than how I'm holding it. <laughs> like I'm holding both of the the outsides. I have to reach my finger all the way in to hit the Z button, and the and then I saw somebody else holding it like a gun, and I was like, yeah, maybe that's maybe that's a better like I don't know like it was such a weird controller. Absolutely. Like, why would you give us three like handheld handholds? You like why? What? You know what they did? They reused those that those same handles for the Wii Motes. <laughs> like literally, like literally. If you if you <laughs> oh actually no, not the Wii the uh, the nunchuck. The nunchuck. Yeah, I know what you. Th- I knew what yeah. you're talking about immediately. Yeah, yep. the, the nunchuck. Yes, yep. yes. They it's literally the same thing. Like they just at ripped it. it right off. They probably had a ton of those extra three oh, those controllers. And they're like, man, had the two things, man. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> cool. Uh, tech. 
what's what's your what's your halo background how did you get you were like two when it came out uh <laughs> hold on please six guys he was six when halo came out Shush. i think that's the original right. halo launch when 2001 yeah, I was like six thousand one. Yeah. You, you, you said you were six? I was probably like six, yeah. I was born ninety five, so yeah. About that. Yeah. So you were six. Damn. Oh, oh, good night. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Get your age up. Get your age right? I'm I'm sorry that my father didn't, you know, pop me out sooner, okay? You talk to him. I'd love to talk to him too. To be the honest. world was better before you talked to him. Oh, Say again. Damn. I ain't got nothing to do with Halo, man. Let's just hate. I know. <laughs> we gotta we gotta stick together, man, you know? Exactly. <laughs> um Halo for me definitely was the beginner of my FPS journey. So like um even though like I remember playing Goldeneye, I remember <sighs> fucking Duck Hunt, like I remember playing those things like that until the cartridge, you know, burnt up. Like I, I played the hell out of those. Um, but Halo, I do specifically remember being, um, because I never played one. Um, I never got the chance to really play one. And by the time we got an Xbox in my house, um, I think it was already two had been out for a while, and three was either getting ready to launch or had just the news for three had just broken. Um, so we got two because it was a bargain deal, and then we were able to get live. And I remember specifically me and my brother stayed up all damn night when we first got live just passing the controller back and forth just like non-stop I, I was glued to the tv and I, instant just instant love at first sight like just the ability to fight against other people i was hooked on fps's from there that point forward and three being able to do forge mode my brothers and i would just make the worst death traps possible like how can we kill each other walking through this map the best? That was what we would do from like 12 o'clock at night until um, 7 o'clock in the morning. We'd sleep for a little while, wake up, and then just do that shit all over again. Do y'all just throw like the explosive canisters all in one room? So you yes. Shoot one and blow them of all course. up? Of course. All of them into yeah. one little like cylinder, and then we would just throw the person in there. Yeah, so you ha you have to hide it though. We used to, my brother, um, criminal genius would like hide which cylinder had the containers in there because he would like turn them upwards, and then there'd be like the bridge, and so he would be in like the forge little robot mode where you can like edit things, and so as you were walking across, he would just like delete the bridge, and then you would fall. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> And then you would be blown up. It was the best. Jesus. And like, I remember when I think it was like it had to be on YouTube. Like before Griffball became a thing, and we were like doing the custom settings for Griffball, like showing you how to do it. So I remember us like setting up Griffball lobbies and like inviting our Xbox friends, which were probably like thirty-year-old grown men, like for the most part. Like I, I remember these things. I remember, like, getting cussed out by someone, like, three times my age because I teabagged them. And, like, I just, I loved it. I, I, I loved every moment of it. Y'all kids need to learn to respect people. That's true. That's true. Other facts. If he would have found you and put his hands on you, I wouldn't have blamed him. I couldn't have either. either. Definitely. That was a disrespectful little shit. Um... Halo is... Yeah, Halo. Uh, I just remember it was a uh, it was one summer, man. Ridiculous, just all night long. We couldn't stop, could not stop. I remember my mom tried to actually take the game out of the Xbox, and it was one of the last times I probably raised my voice to my mother, um, and it didn't end well. And we did you get your forearm dropped? I was alive. She did deck me. Like that was one of the only times where a full fist was used. Uh, my brother, sly little fucker, wasn't like he wanted me to be angry. He laughed you out. He laughed me out. Like then he help. got, then he got. Whooped. Wasn't concerned. Um, no, one nigga just walked right by. Oh, you know, damn. he went into the room. He hid away for a while. Meanwhile, I'm getting yelled at. Just got my face punched. 
and trying to avoid my mother breaking Halo in half. Like, you know, I'm just I'm really choked when she doesn't do so. Um, but, you know, a forearm shiver is warranted in that moment. If you get mm-hmm. one, that's fair game, I think. You said hey, a forearm what? shiv? A forearm shiver. Like, one of them just, like, just real quick, right off the top mm-hmm. of the... <laughs> So I'm right over there near the temple. Mm-hmm. That would have been fair for her to do right there. I'm just surprised your brother didn't get his ass whipped for laughing. Like, cause uh, a little nigga just walked away. At least you, uh, like, whenever, you know, me and my brother used to get, used to get in trouble, like, I knew to, like, like hold my laughs in until... <laughs> You said until my parents are out of the room because I didn't want that shit to come over here. No, nah, man, you can't be, be having invisible. no fun while they're pissed. I yeah, you can't invisible. be having. <laughs> you gotta be quiet. <laughs> hey, I was switch straight. You gotta. I, I was master of that shit. Nope, I was always the one to get in trouble. Always. Oh, surprise, surprise. No, take it to surprise, surprise. Anyway, uh, no. Hey, J.K., what's your uh, what's your Halo story? Well, I have a Halo story. I hate that. No, I'm joking. Um, uh, I played. Right there. Um, no, I played Halo. I didn't get involved with Halo until I came back to the states. And yeah, was Halo big over there at all? Or no, no. Oh, some kind of. I'm sure it was some kind of MMO PlayStation, some kind of MMO or something over there. American system. So like until the 360, really, it didn't really penetrate like the Japan area. Nah, not really. Interesting. I mean, it makes sense. Sony's like a Japanese company, right? Yeah. Japanese. He was in Korea. It was easier for them to get stuff from Japan than it was from America sometimes. But um, I didn't get an Xbox until. 2003, 2004, and mine was, uh, I had Halo 2, and that was my first Halo, but mine was uh, customized to where I could play bootleg games, because my dad bought it and when, he was, when he was in Kuwait, so, so you can so play online, game, right? No, I couldn't play online. So um, I played online for my, with my PS2. So I had the network manager with my P, uh, with my PS2 and just played that. You're playing SOCOM or something. Yep. Yeah. Original SOCOM. Yeah, but um, Halo. but now nah, my Halo 2 actually. So with the game, it came with all the cheats. So like, oh Jesus, it came with at like I love the animal. Infinite Shield stuff like that. So like as soon as you as soon as you go to the game, you have an option to turn on the cheats, and of course I turned them off, and played the game. Sure you did it. Yes, I did. Oh, I'm not tech. Up, turn them things up to eleven. I'm not tech or <laughs> Carl. Okay. How dare you? <laughs> I play with the utmost fairness. Exactly. <laughs> Used to play. Um, I used to try it on like hard mode or whatever. So legendary, legendary. Yeah, I was like, yo, I got to like I think the ninth mission on legendary before I was like, no, fuck this. Um, but no, uh, Halo two, and then after that, um, I didn't play Halo until I got to college again. So no way is perfect. Yeah. So, cause I didn't start because we we start playing on cause I had PlayStation. So when I went to yeah, I had we, PS, we I had, had PS2, we had to convince you to get an Xbox. I had PS2. I had Xbox 360, and then that red ringed. So I was like, okay, well that's over. <laughs> and so. Over. So what? Let's don't make excuses. Part for the course. Everybody. Hey man, it. you didn't do the, tr- the towel trick. Mm-mm. You got to do the towel trick, I man. A, I didn't have a hard drive, so when I played, like I had uh, to sit down and play. Like I had, I had to sit down and. We didn't have a hard drive. No, yeah, I didn't have remember a hard drive. that? There was that one. Yeah, arcade. Yeah. Arcade one. So like the, so, they give you like a two fifty six like. Look, my but memory you get, card. But, okay. 
But you did that so that you can stretch your money out, and then a couple months later, you go ahead and scoop the hard drive. Did you? Did you put a hard drive in an arcade? I thought there were different types of systems. I didn't no, think no, it was someone in there. Oh, okay. no. it just so that's what I looked at it as. Yeah, you get that one, and because you didn't want to have to pay for it all up front, you could save up again and go ahead and get yourself the hard drive later. Yeah, eventually I got one, but like at first I was playing like GTA, Crackdown, and all those games, and I didn't have a hard drive, so I had to wait to get a hard drive. But um, by the time I got to college, that's when I played. It wasn't until we I got the video game club when I started playing Halo more. Because I and then I what um, what devil tree or witchcraft did you use to get good at like hitting people with the rail cut? Like that's that's what I want to know. That's the secret. <laughs> no, what did you sacrifice? Go ahead, just let All us know. Feel. Nobody, that should be, nobody that should be my power. This is a safe space. Nobody should. That should be my power. As power. long as it's not people, I have a real gun. I'll turn you on my back, and yeah. I just like pull it out and just just start shooting. You like a pistol. Your cult. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you exactly. Which cult did you join? It's, like it's, it's some ritual that we'll find it's, out soon. It's just like how I learned how to uh, shoot with the bloom. I already no, know Preston but those are not sacrificed related skills. multiple hundreds of people for his Halo abilities. Oh no, uh, just... Preston's, Preston's straight up cheating. That like that he's straight up cheating. He's got one of the little things hacked into his box that you mm-hmm. plug your controller into that aim assist, so he can move around. However, listen, I've looked, looked for it. Trigger. I've looked all over the place. Hey man, you you are you look. You're not plugged into the cheating network. Like he's been cheating for years. Yeah. Facts. Like you, you're no, just trying. To... Facts. Listen. Like, I couldn't find an Xbox nowhere. Creston finds them left and right. Man looks left, looks right, and well, was there. He has to cheat the economy now too. He can't just cheat exactly. the games. He's he's got to up. He's got to up the ante because the high is not as good to cheat Halo anymore. He almost got jacked by his own fiance with PlayStation and shit. You said what? He almost got jacked by your own fiance with the PlayStation. What you mean? She was like, "Yo, them things expensive, man. I could have took one of them and." So about two of them, and oh, no, I, was like, I, 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 uh, I, she's properly compensated. Let's just say that. <laughs> wow. That's what we're going with. Wow. Uh, no, no, not not even in that sense. Like I'm saying, like I, I dropped some some cash on you know a nice ring. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> but not. No, it's all, it's all but was the real gun. I didn't. You start using a real gun until I start playing five. That's what that and a la the witchcraft because you don't just get good at something that just showed up like 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 that you just picked up like oh wow I know how this works immediately like it's just trying to be playing Xbox uh, playing Halo it's it's it the railgun and the sniper rifle you shoot Play. those too casually for me to believe that you're not cheating or worshiping some dark entity I just got good at sniping and so yeah, railgun I just I just treat it as sniping. Um, Watch the Conjuring too. You know, you'll you'll see where. You know, I, you know what? I don't want to be that good at Halo. I, I just don't. <laughs> play anyway. You realize, like two, I played, then play three, then play four, then play ODST, then play um, what's the other ones? Um, uh, you got Reach. Reach. What yeah, you play, play Reach. You play Reach, Reach had the best campaign. I don't oh, say that. Play, I don't play, only time I played Reach is when I played with y'all. Oh, and that was, sure. like, every once in a while. Yeah. And then when I finally got an Xbox, I got five. And so I didn't use the real gun until we started playing with real guns. So, really, I just got good because I was that nigga. So, you know, I can't. <laughs> okay, well, nobody believes that. So we're going to go with uh, uh, the occult, Carl. Is that what you said? That's exactly what I said. Okay, <laughs> that's what we're going to go with. That sounds like That sounds like that hater power I was talking about. You know, feeding off that hate, you know, but you know, but not nah, uh, Halo. I actually didn't, I actually didn't like Xbox at all. I was like, oh, this is travel. And then you're a uh, uh, PlayStation fanatic, or are you still, still a PlayStation? He's still, fan? he's still, he still What's called? I had um GameCube. No, I had GameCube. I had a uh, Game Boy. 
And so I played PlayStation because I was like, oh, because I, I like Crash. I like Blitz. I loved, um, um, what's the other game? Capcom, Marvel vs. Capcom, all those games. And I had like 100 games on PlayStation. I was like, why the fuck am I going to go to Xbox for? Hey, look. Hey, man, that's that's true. We can get you with that. Hey, man, you got so much. That's called the sunken cost fallacy. It don't matter how many games you have on that side. It's not taken away from the joy you're going to have with the Xbox. Okay. It's fine. You're here now, so don't worry about it. Well, I play Ace Combat on PlayStation. I play that religiously, so. But, um, play 7, man. There's... Stop, stop. Uh... But, um, but no, uh, and then I wanted to, get, I wanted to play uh, Halo 2. And then there's a couple other games on play, uh, Project Snowblind. That was one of my favorite games on Xbox. Um, oh, uh, this game called um, oh, it was a RPG fighting game. Jade Empire. Mm. I played that three times. So what? I played that for a hot second. Yeah, and I realized that I play Halo. So. <laughs> I play. I love playing that, and then that's why I start getting like, okay, you know, maybe Xbox is not too bad. And then after that, I kind of then I played Crackdown for Xbox 360 and went on four. So I didn't play Halo for a good number of years. I wasn't really all that into it. I played Crackdown to get into the multiplayer beta. Oh yeah, that's true. yeah, I remember that. But yeah, so did it, did it work? Did to it get work into the you? multiplayer beta beta for Halo Three. Yeah. yeah. So okay. I went to Target, bought an Xbox Elite hours before the beta released, and got cracked down. Hmm. Just for Halo, because I, of course, I was broke as a joke, so I had to sell my original Xbox. So I was Xbox less. For about six months, but my oh man, I really had an Xbox. So I was still able to play Halo. Um, but I scooped, yeah, I scooped the 360 Elite hours before the beta drop. Well, at least you didn't go to GameStop because you ain't got shit. <laughs> well, yeah, where did you where did you sell your Xbox? I did go to GameStop. Oh damn. No, 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 no. That's, not, that's, not, that's not what I did. No. Somebody that was working with me at Target was willing to buy it. He was a huge PlayStation fan. And, uh, but, you know, Blu Blu rays are still burning up at that time. So he wanted that original love for a little bit. So I sold him that. Um, and then I was just without it for a while. But then get it in time for three. Can't miss the launch of three. Yeah, uh, three, yeah. the The launch of Halo Three was torture for me. Oh, what happened? Oh yeah, you, wait. Tristan hasn't done his uh yeah. intro. Yeah. Um. So, uh, going back to Halo One. So it's funny. Like I used to. So Halo One came out when I was, I think, in the sixth grade. Um, and I used to. Uh, what'd you say? I said Intech was six years old. Yeah. <laughs> um and so I me and me and my friend uh, at the time, his name was uh Frankie, he uh we used to talk about like games and stuff and he used to always like talk up like Halo. It's like, yo, Halo is the shit, it's the best like shooter ever, this and that. And I was like, nah, nothing nothing's better than because I was at the time I had a PS two, I didn't even have an Xbox yet. Um, and I was playing a lot of Red Faction, the, the original Red Faction on PS2. That shit, like, I still think that shit's tight, but Halo still kind of blew it out the water. But anyway, um, it, it had, like, the, the big selling point with Red Faction was that you had this thing, was they called a Geomod, in which you can basically, like, blow holes in the walls and, like, destroy a fucking, like, basically destroy a level. Mm -hmm. um and then they had a rail gun you can shoot through the walls like rare faction was tight as shit so me and my brother you know we were playing the hell out of that and you can turn on the bots and and things of that sort so we we were like we were cool and then like frankie was just like yo like nah like xbox is tight halo is tight and i was like nah this is no way 
Um, fast forward, finally get an Xbox. Um, and then uh, fast forward a little bit, and I finally get Halo 1, uh, which was on sale. I think it was a, I think they call it a Platinum Hits or some shit. Basically, like greatest hits on PS, yeah, on PlayStation. Yeah. Um, so I picked it up at Target um, from, and when it was a Platinum Hit. Uh, took it back to the house, and my life was changed forever. Like we, it, it literally just, it, it, I just remember like that first level and then being able to play a co-op. Um, and we just, we were hooked. And then when we discovered like the PVP aspect of it, um, uh, we were playing a shit ton of like, it was me, my brother, uh, and my best friend, um, Jeremy at the time. Um, we were just always playing like you know, split screen, just fucking each other up. Um, and that was, we did that up until Halo 2. I remember picking that, I remember picking up Halo 2 from GameStop, which was right up the street. Um, and it had, uh, I had like a, um, I think we got like the special edition or something. And it was, it was cool too, because my brother got it, because he was a lifeguard. Lifeguards used to get, they used to get paid. Like when you're a teenager, like the motherfuckers was getting like, like 800 a check or some shit like they was making bread so he he splurged and got like the special edition halo 2 um and we went back and we played the hell out of that then we beat the campaign in like one sitting because this shit was short on on halo 2 and uh then we um we did a lot of local multiplayer i didn't get xbox live until i got 360 in um in halo 3 um, so I missed out completely on the whole Halo 2, like playing online and shit like that. I did that over my cousin's house. But um, fast forward to when Halo 3 came out, I was working at Best Buy um, at the time. And uh, <laughs> like I didn't have a 360 because um, the shit was just, I think 360 was like 400 some dollars at the time, 400, 500 depending on the whatever model you got i forget but it was a lot of fucking money and um my best buy check was not cutting it um so um i literally had to wait i i i was stocking halo 3 like i was even stocking <laughs> like the the spanish versions of halo 3 i was like what like there was uh, there was everybody so many... had halo but you exactly like it was like there were so many copies of Halo 3. Like, I was so tempted to just be like, man. Like the people just... who burn the money? Like, they, they get all the money that the, the um what you call the treasure wants to burn, and they just packing it up, and they're just like, I just, just billions of dollars, and I'm just shoving it in I'm this just, furnace. Just, like, just stocking it, and I can't do anything with it. Like, it was just, it was torture. It was torture. Um, oh. But, uh, but yeah, I finally got that, and then, um, even getting like Xbox Live for me was um was tough because we didn't have Wi Fi at the time and our router was like upstairs and so I had to I got one of those little um those Ethernet co- uh converters where you put in the wall and uh-huh. then you can basically it like bounces. bridge it. Yeah, yeah, you can bridge it to the um long as you plug it into into the wall, you can bridge a Ethernet connection through it. So that was a that was the way we uh we're able to get online. So I had to like go to circuit city. I bought that shit. And when I finally got like online, like it was, it was like, first of all, I realized like how good I wasn't. That's when I was like, Oh shit. Like I'm not that good. And so I had to be my brother, but I can't beat. I was, yeah. Like I was just always beating them. Like they were, they were nothing. I didn't even think of them at the time. Um, and then when we got online, that shit was just like, I had to ho- I had to learn the whole fucking game again. Like it was, it was interesting. But um, but yeah. Then Reach came out when I was in college. Um, four, and then now we're at five, and then we're going to Halo Infinite. Infinity, man. We're just going on into the future. I just so, want to see that hook. You said what? I just want to see the grapple hook. 
It looks slow. I just don't think I'm not excited about that at all. They're gonna grapple hook into their game. They need to make it. They need to make it like uh the grapple hook in Titanfall. Yeah. Here you go. (laughs) Any opportunity to talk about Titanfall? He he just wanted to talk about the grapple hook, man. It sounded like you tricked him. Hey, he. (laughs) (laughs) He just brought. He said Titanfall. He said all he had to do was say Titanfall. You're like (laughs) this nigga. Yeah. This. Yeah. So going jumping into um so we all started pretty much with all the bungee halo games uh now we're into 343 um how would you say uh four and five um under 343 like what 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 are your thoughts between like the the bungee halo games and the 343 ones like you know what's what's kind of like y'all's stance on that like is it do y'all notice that it's taking the quality has gone down or like do you not like the new direction like what what's what's y'all's thoughts on that i feel like it's more fast paced than bungie bungie didn't believe in running i wouldn't say that it was it was just product of the time like those game those halo games were product of the time a lot, a lot of the the games only i would say like Call of Duty 4 is when games really started embracing Sprint. And so Halo 3 and 4 came out at the same time. And so once mm-hmm. then Reach came out, you had Sprint. Kind of. Barely. It's a loadout. It's a loadout. Yeah. You so, choose between Sprint and the more awesome jetpack. Right. <laughs> and then 4, yeah. you know, combined it and made it a standard. Yeah, which is the way it should have always been. But yeah. So, um, three we'll had... walk around like this. Then fucking uh, 007. Damn. Thank harsh. God. Harsh critic. Um, I mean, it definitely feels Andrew antiquated Carl? looking back at it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm that? sorry. Go ahead. Go as well. I'm sorry. No, I was just gonna say it feels antiquated looking back at it, but like when when them games first play like came out, I was psyched. Like I was oh, excited, absolutely. happy to play. Like give the shit. Sprinting wasn't a thing in in like Crescent said, it wasn't a thing in shooters. Uh, yeah. it, until like Call of Duty, right? Call of Duty kind of. I'm sure it happened in other shooters, but I'm saying Call of Duty is the one that that made it like popularized. Hey, it. You gotta have yeah. sprint in a shooter. That's yeah. just because Call of Duty does numbers, so it's kind of like it kind of forces a lot of trends based on that. Like I'm sure a lot of the buttons are are for other shooters are based on Call of Duty's buttons, just because you want people to be able to pick up your game easily. I think they're yep. based on Halo buttons, to be honest, because <laughs> Halo's first. No, I, no doubt Call of Duty stole, but I'm saying like now everybody's looking at Call of Duty as like they're like, okay, I'm making a shooter. I need to make this thing intuitive for players. Let's 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 copy Call of Duty. That's where like, uh, yeah. So I think just the fact that Halo is sci-fi is what kind of stopped it from being. It's what makes what makes me like it the most, but it's it's what makes it less popular in Call of Duty. Because if you don't like sci-fi stuff, or if you see sci-fi stuff and, and automatically get a perception that like, oh, this is nerdy stuff, then you're just gonna not pick Halo up. But I think. I think it's the best shooter that's come out. Uh, period. I I don't I don't really because I, I mean I play all the other, well I don't play all the others but I play a lot of shooters for a little bit and it's, that was nice. Now back to Halo, like they they don't really scratch the same itch. Yeah, that's that's yeah. a perfect way to describe it. Like I, I feel the same way. Like there's there's no other shooter that really scratches that same itch. I mean, I'd say the one shooter that comes close. Um, this one's for you, Swag. Titanfall. Um, and, uh, but even that, even that's, that's kind of like, I kind of put that in the, like, a caught, like the can't, I would second that Titanfall, Titanfall comes very close. Thank you. Thank you. It's as close as you can get. Absolutely. Um, but I kind of put Titanfall as like the Call of Duty I want to (laughs) play. Um, but that's a fair, that's a fair, like, Titanfall to feels like a like a cross like somebody was like damn i want to play halo i want to play call of duty at the same time yeah what's wrong with that? 
That's fair. A lot of things. So many things. There's nothing wrong, wrong with that. that. No, that sounds, that sounds good. You, aren't you the one in the last episode who, like, don't make me choose? And then they didn't make you choose, and now you pissed off? Facts. <laughs> they didn't make you choose, Suave. What do you that want? Was... What does it take Not to please you? What I want is Halo. Halo is home. And I'm okay. good with that. Yeah. Like, I, I visit other places. I visit Call of Duty. I visit, you know, uh, Apex. Halo. Halo is home. No, hey, hey, man. We can't Apex is at home. Apex is like going to like that bad neighborhood you know you shouldn't go to. But they got some really good food. They got the good food. So you they like, got the good food. I like, might get shot, but I know I'm going to get some chicken. Like, exactly. I know, like, I know I'm going to get some good chicken. Exactly. You know, you know the funny analogy about that? Is that what? What does that say about tech? Because he's always going to Apex. Mm, yeah, I don't make yeah. Good chicken. <laughs> he willing to get shot for some chicken, exactly. But uh, probably the blackest it. thing about him. Oh, oh. Damn. that's fair. Oh, that's fair. Sneaking um, them light skin jokes in there. Hey man, that hit. That hit Preston just because he's he's here. <laughs> I'm light skin. Yeah, I'm light skin. Not my I like wasn't a light skinned joke. It was just saying that that's probably, you know, he probably has other aspects of his personality than with other parts of his race that, he, that we don't know about. And I, you, you just, know? you went, you took that to a whole other level. Bruh, I, 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 I don't even know what you meant. Um, <laughs> to answer your, your question, being an ass. it sounded offensive. I don't, it, it was offensive. I, 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 I was just calling him a Carl, Carlton. <laughs> Hey, Compton was, didn't have to worry about being called light skin. He just like probably was just black. Yeah, he was just, just loose. He's yeah. weird, huh? But to answer your question about the Bungie or three four three, I think Halo Four is probably the most forgettable Halo. It um, is. I don't think I played it before I, we played it together. I don't think I played it. I was all about it in college because that's when it came out when I was in college. I remember we played in the sunroom uh, uh, at least a couple of times. So mm -hmm. I remember it and we played it at home all the time. Yeah, we played it in the sunroom. Like we bought TVs and stuff in there. We played it, I think, at least once or twice. I remember playing Halo in the sunroom. But all you know stuff. why yeah. it was so forgettable? Because they tried, they, they tried so hard to appease Make the Call of Duty crowd. So mm -hmm. that was like out of all of the Halos, that was the one that was. Halo Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. had the 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 loadouts. You Very had, much so. Um, the uh, you can customize like, you know, your weapon loadout, your um, Spartan abilities, like all that shit. Like, Halo has always been about like balance. Like, you was like mm -hmm. everybody starts with like, either you either, you always start with this you know the the same weapon. Same guns. Yeah, yeah, you might have different abilities like in in Halo Reach, but um, you know, as far as like the weapons are concerned, them gents was always like balanced. And then four was just like, nah, choose your own weapon. Like, do whatever you want to do. And so I, I just... I, uh, it's honestly a blank spot in my Halo memories. I mean, I kind of <laughs> two, two and three kind of blend together too because of where I was at the time. Like, I was still at, at home with my siblings, and we just kind of like ran from two to three like immediately. It was just like an easy transition, but. I still remember like the covers of those games. I don't remember the cover four. But <laughs> like Yeah, I, I, I know for a fact I didn't play four. Yeah, it's it was it was we rushed. It, yes. I was gonna say that about the you could tell it was rushed by the campaign. It yeah. was a, it was the easiest campaign, first of all. Because I play them all on legendary and I'm not good at the game, so it takes me forever to beat these things, right? So um I'm I'm, I'm like the the final battle was literally like just like you you know like in a in a rpg game or like in one of those like i don't know if y'all ever played any of like the star wars rpgs where you just walk to a person and talk to them and you walk to another person and talk to them like a lot of it's like dialogue it was like the final battle was like you didn't shoot anything you just had to take a bomb in your hand walk up and put it in the guy's chest or something like that it was like some weird yeah, thing like that like, like he was like he could have like he could have destroyed Master Chief like with his absolutely. Powers, he could have destroyed him like he he literally was like holding him up like yeah, you know, ripping his, his armor apart and yeah. stuff like like, like bending him back. All you had to do was just like fucking just rip him apart. And, you and didn't then he even just shoot like him. fell. You just he just fell down a hole. Yeah, you shot you shot other guys and other things, and then when you got to him, like it was just like a walkthrough to like so put the bomb in his chest, and I was like. That's that's the end. Like I've played the end of these Halo games, man. You gotta kill 
30 waves of goons and, and grunts and and then the and then the beats get strong yeah and then it's you gotta kill like 30 waves before you can even shoot at the person you gotta actually kill like you gotta kill waves of monsters first and that one i was like hey i don't can't it was it was know? lazy it was so it lazy. was I, so so i mean i erased it obviously from my memory and <laughs> And I can I, I I skip right over it. Like even the story when I when I, I was playing the Halo Five campaign like earlier like this like like right between spring and summer starting, just because I was like you know uh, it was harder to get everybody together. So I was like yeah, just play the campaign and you know see if I can walk through this thing. Uh, side note: Don't play the campaign thinking that's going to sharpen your shooting skills. It makes I you worse. I told you that. Yeah, yeah. I, I wish you had because I wasted like eight to 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 fourteen hours. You know. Checking along on this campaign because I was like, yeah, next time they see me, I'm going to be hitting people from miles away. No, I got worse. I was like, they're not coming <laughs> right at me. They're not moving. <laughs> they're not moving in lockstep. <laughs> uh-uh. not so, so I was yeah. I'm playing the campaign of five and I'm like, where's this story? How did, how did we get here? I was like, oh, shoot. Like four has a whole story that I just can't remember. Like, I, cause I'm a, I'm a, um, canon kind of like uh i like to know the the backstories to all the stuff that i'm into so i know a lot books? about it yeah i read a few of the books not all of them but i read a few of the books yeah i like the the, the halo books and stuff like that so um it's it's an interesting just an interesting thing altogether. so i think halo was the first audio book i ever listened to so mm. um the first one yeah i think no actually only only i have two of the books i only read one i'm i haven't, I haven't started this next one but um it's I like to read like the mythology and stuff. So I was like, I, I knew all of the story up until and I was like, there's something missing. Like that's five stories. Weird. Like where's Cortana? She's not here. I was like, where's this lady? She got one arm right now. Like, well, I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> like, oh shoot. Like all of that stuff happened in four and four was definitely absent. And that's the first three or three, right? Yeah. So, so like, I think for them, they really big shoes to fill um and they were just trying to like i feel like they like you said they were trying to bring halo to like a bigger audience yeah um when uh the truth is something being cold or, or niche or whatever like that that actually works better for a lot of people it, it's it's easier to make something that a, a small group of people are going to support heavily than it is to make something Try that to everybody's right gonna mess with. Like yeah. you got a you got a dethrone Call of Duty who puts out like thirty games a year. So it's like you can't beat Warzone, Cold War, and uh, Modern Warfare or whatever the other That's the next scene. game is. Yeah, like you can't def you can't beat that. It's like trying to you know make homemade Coca Cola and, and beat Coke. It might even taste better, but you just can't beat the production. That you brand, can't beat that. No. Brand, yeah, you can't beat it. Power. So, so it, they kind of, I feel like they kind of went off just trying to like chase, chase what was like uh prototypical. And I think if they would have stayed more bungee, I mean, obviously I need sprint. Like, I don't think, I think that's like saying that, you know, phones should have cameras, right? Like sprint is just an evolution of a thing. Like phones didn't yeah. start with cameras, but when, once we put them in, we, we didn't take them out and be like, oh, well, these aren't important. Like. Once cameras, they, they're a part of phones now. So Sprint should be a part of shooters now. That's just my opinion. Like, But other than that, I think that t making Halo very Halo-y is, is, is the way to go. I'm afraid that Infinity is going to do too much of that, though, because mm. of the people. Yeah, the, yeah. the, the fans, the, 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 the basically the diehards. The ones who make everything suck. Like they always, they they, they cry the loudest. Take out the, take out the fun and shit. Yeah, it's like the Man. Star Wars fans. Like they they just get they're too they're too in love with the thing, and then therefore they they don't give anybody creative control. And then what ends up happening is you you end up making a subpar product because you're trying to, like Carl said, the nostalgia about the controller. That's what they're trying to capture. It's like that's not coming back. Like nostalgia is not coming back. Like you appreciate it. That's that's why it's nostalgic. But you can't get that back. And you everybody have MCC who knows for nostalgia, even even MCC doesn't actually give you what you were trying to chase. It gives you the exact product. But that's not what you're chasing. You're chasing the emotions that, feeling, that are tied yeah. to that exact product. Yeah. You'll never get those back. Those are 
transient for a reason. That's why they're so that's why they're so impactful to your life. So the the fact that these people can shape the way a Halo game is created is scaring me. So that's why Infinite it's still gonna be my favorite Halo, even though because the the newest Halo is my favorite Halo. But I am worried because I I know I haven't seen anything about Spartan Charge. I haven't seen anything about Grand Pound. So I'm 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 guessing those are out of the game. They're giving us this lame grappling hook, like Crescent said, it's real slow. Um, not really interested in a grappling hook. I never thought I need one in a shooter. Like I don't want to bring nothing closer to me in a shooter. I want everything to, to die from a distance. It's the point. <laughs> so I, I got still, bullets. Yeah, yeah. Like you, you, you do get it. This is this is not bass proficient. This is Halo. I'm shooting niggas. I'm not trying to pull nothing in close. So like I don't understand the the grappling hook. But yeah, I'm hoping that in Infinite they they finally they kind of finally get that that nice balance of of halo where it's like it's a sci-fi shooter you're a super soldier like let's let's not forget that like exactly it's not a bunch a of captain america's team. running around uh with with you know iron man armor on like it's the person that makes the best of both worlds we should we should be awesome like don't give me a oh yeah we're we're now back we're to walking running. again yeah Yep. And the only way we can move fast is to grab link on kind of objects. I, I don't know what I would do. I'd probably throw my controller. Well, I'd pick one of my cheaper controllers up and throw those. Uh, if if we play Halo and the sprint was gone, along with all the other stuff, they're like, oh, we're going back to the base. Remove that because <laughs> they're they're supposed to make this a whole world that you could explore. Like, yes. Like, so if you're walking through that, that'd be absurd. Yeah. Yes. Unless they added some stupid like. Um, like they do in uh, what's that what's that game? Right? Yeah, teleportation thing, like they do in uh, cyber uh, cyberpunk. Cyberpunk, you can you can walk across the entire entire map, or you can get to one of those little the little stations and basically teleport. It doesn't they'll call it teleport. They act like it's some kind of deliver some kind of like Uber or whatever, but it's teleportation. You're you're in one spot, you're on one side of the city, and you want to get to the other side. Well, yeah, you can get on the car, but that's like. To, you know, eight kilometers away, so you might want to just use the teleportation. So if they do some lame stuff like that, then yeah, you don't have to run. But I do not suspect that, that they'll take take out sprinting. I do think the ground pound and Spartan charge, which is probably my favorite thing ever added to Halo. Yeah, it, me too. It is it is hilarious to do to people. It is jarring and upsetting when it happens to you, which is how it should be. Like no, it's the it's the worst thing to to just be to walk around a corner and somebody's just running full speed. Tech does this to me all the time. Like where he'll just be running around the corner and Whoa. he just lightly taps that charge button because I'm I'm freaking out. I turn to shoot and then charge, and then it's, it's over. Carl. It's everybody. Yeah. Carl kills me with bombs. Tech specifically is the one who Spartan charges me like around corners. Like Carl's throwing bombs like he's. I don't know, doing trick no, shots. Yeah, that's horse that's game. Move for shotties. You're just a hater. Those are skillful throws. I know. It's like trick shots in a horse game. I wasn't I wasn't I'm, saying I'm, the stones were skillful or uh, weren't skillful. Ryan, I was, baby. I'm, I'm just doing. look, it doesn't it's still you're still a bad person for doing it, is my point. <laughs> but way. yes, you are good at being <laughs> bad. Okay, so sure. Bad but yeah, so Spartan Charge is gonna be pissed. I mean it I is, it's, it is it's almost surely gone. Because yeah. nobody said anything about it. Because they're trying to act like Halo Five was a failure. Like they talk about the game like it was a failure. Yeah, nah. It, no I think... Dolby Vision. I'm still not over it. <laughs> um, we'll see, we'll see Sunday. Yeah, I feel yeah. like uh, I feel like Five doesn't get the credit it deserves. I think I think what what people really hone in on is the the, the campaign with Five, but not they don't necessarily talk about. The the um the multiplayer like the multiplayer you can have is... a black president and a black Spartan that's just not you can have <laughs> both too much it's too much too much it's too much blackness at one time like yeah one more black thing that's a trinity we might the world might explode you have one more black one more prominent black thing at that time imagine if Black Panther would have came out with the black president and the black Spartan simultaneously that's it the whole world explodes <laughs> yeah nah I, I yeah so I I I think that um. Yeah, three four three, man. Like, you know, I, they, I respect that they they tried to put their their spin on Halo. Um, with four, I just felt like it was a little too much, um, Call of Duty in there. Mm -hmm. Uh, with the original Master Chief Collection, 
They just completely dropped the ball on that shit. <laughs> I, bl- just... I blacked that out too. I forgot about how awful that was. Man, man, oh man, those were the dark days. Um, funniest thing. <laughs> the funniest thing was seeing Creston's face and hearing Creston talk about because he stuck with it. Like we, I deleted the game and had to read. I think I might have bought it again because I think like at the point, like I don't even think it was saved. I don't know how, but I think I purchased that game again. Like I was like, wait a minute, did I? I think I might have had the disc. I might have bought the, the disc back uh, when I start, yeah, stopped buying discs. Getting physical crap back. Then. Yeah, yeah, and back then, so I had the physical, and I and I think I sold that. So I had to buy Damn. it again when we started playing it again because Preston was like, "No, it's fixed. It's fixed." I'm like, "Fool me once, nigga." <laughs> hey, I, I jumped on all those grenades for y'all, man. Like that shit was that shit was not fun. Played it wasn't intentional. Just sat it down. What'd you mm. say, Carl? He played it. Like, I think I played it like twice and just sat it down. I'm like, I, we can't. What can we do with this? <laughs> nah. Uh, and five. I feel like five was like. I think the, the the outcry of five's campaign being so bad like tarnished that game. Um, but they, I think five had like the best ideas of you being a Spartan. Like you feel the most nimble, you can do the most awesome shit. Your weapons are are extremely accurate. Like the 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 um the gunplay in there is like unmatched. Like and out of all of the Halo games, it has the best gunplay. Um, like there's some really good ideas off of that, and they all they really needed to do, um, was continue that, but like, um, tone down on that fucking esports shit, like. Like when they first released that Halo Five, like it was all it was mainly just for esports. Like they had like two modes, like it was nothing to do for people that just wanted to fucking play. I mean, kind of like what it is now. Like you know, <laughs> there isn't really <laughs> anything to do if you're a, a social player. Um, you don't get all the maps. Like it was just it was it was terrible. The only thing right now on social. You I said, you said what? Covenant Slayer is the only thing I would play right now. I'm yeah, sure. like it's always like the special, but they need to just like keep keep those in rotation. Like, why why do you keep like take the model that you built with with MCC and put that into Halo Five? Like, and I'm tr- and then also release it on on PC so that way a lot of more a lot more people will jump on because that's what honestly saved MCC was putting putting it out on PC. Like, you got a whole swath of like players that used to play halo back in the day uh to jump back into it and so now everybody can play now the the player base is always going to be um decent enough to to get quick games and yeah yeah get the matchmaking because halo 5's matchmaking is much worse like if your party is small the smaller your party is the less likely you're going to get put in the game one player when i play by myself i'm waiting for minutes when i'm playing with carl it's like a little bit faster uh when it's all four of us like we get in pretty quickly but it's like if you're a full party you seem to be able to get into a game almost immediately but and this is why i wish i could just be like a fly on the wall and they like stand-ups because i just feel like stuff like that should be shared tech like why is that complete one-off like everybody should just share that code it's, there's no need for that to be different it has to be some weird this was written in Visual Basic. We can't. We get. It's too tough for us to take it over to C Sharp. Yeah, I mean, it's like that. That that bug um, that we that we uh, found with the uh, the Quick Slayer shit, where um, it says you could put four people into the party, but you really can only put two. And so it's like, okay, so somebody just go in and change. Oh no, it's uh, it's hard code. It's like, what? You can't command definitely. Like what the? F- I, it's stuff like that. It's just like, like you could tell, like there's a concerted effort to just like sweep Halo Five like under the rug. Absolutely, it's like, completely. Once you saw that XS for um MCC, and, and I like when I'm moving games to my external, um <laughs> I can move Halo Five, but I can't move MCC because. Yeah. Like once you realize that you're like, okay, well, MCC's got to be played right here on you know internal. It's got to be the 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 hardware. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. It's got to be right there on the the bare metal. You can't you can't remove it. So 
the fact that Halo Five, they're like, does it need anything? And I really do think you're right. I think it's the I think it's the campaign, but I don't think there's much of a difference between. I think Force Campaign was worse, right? So Force Campaign is worse than Five. I think it's the literally the code base is Bungie code base though. That's true, and, but and Bungie made up a whole lot of tooling. Like I remember those Vidox and like how they, the fact that they created Forge, right? I guarantee you, Forge came out of a debugging tool, and they're like, "Well, let's just give this to them. They want this." Yeah. Um, and I, I think they just don't have the tech. They don't have the like the tooling. So their crap sucks. And they're just leveraging Bungie's old stuff. <laughs> they had to uh, yeah. they had to rewrite um Halo Infinite, I think, a couple times. Like they had to build their they Crazy. basically had to write their own game engine. Um I think they said that they tried to use like Unreal at the start of it and then they're like, No, nah, we can't use that. Then um there's I can't wait to hear the like the full story as to like what happened with this this game because it's been it's just been like it's been f- six years since halo 5 six years like that is ridiculous like so my question uh, is do you blame bungie for well i guess bungie been left because they wanted to work on this yeah bungie's been they've been gone since reach mm. bungie provided microsoft so much value because all Xbox Live, I think the core of Xbox Live is Bungie. Mm. Like like the matchmaking, nobody had matchmaking like that before Halo 2. And that was custom. That wasn't that didn't come with Xbox Live. So uh Bungie provided way way too much value for Microsoft, so they can't say nothing. They just drop in the ball. <laughs> And, it's unfortunate. and they just took that and put it into the next version of Xbox Live or 360. So um, I think we're all kind of like, you know, we, we, we enjoy the new Halo games, but, you know, they're kind of missing a little that 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 secret Halo sauce. Um, what is what does Halo Infinite need to do to be able to um put halo back into the the forefront like you know be the the main shooter that that people play what does halo infinite need to accomplish uh i'm worried that it might not be a main shooter i, I don't know like it'll be a main shooter in our right but but i think that's just it like halo 4 to call of duty halo 5 in some ways still to call of duty like trying to be more than what Halo is. I mean, I really think I just have to find out what going back to the root is like to bring in bring in their normal base and then bring in new people who also want I don't, I don't want to say like a slow down FPS because Halo is anything but slow, but it's just it's far from slow. So, look, I want the tripod that Bungie talked about. The tripod of Halo <laughs> with the additional mobility features and upgrading graphics that would be amazing for me. So, I, my fear with, with this Halo Infinite is like the same fear I, I had and kind of realized with the Star Wars um, franchise, right? Like, there was so much hate for the prequels, a lot Halo 5, right? There was so much hate for it. That when these new directors came in to direct uh, and writers and directors came in, they're like, okay, well, we need to stick to the original. So if you look at like seven, episode seven, and then episode what would be considered four, which is the first one, uh, they're almost uh, scene for scene, or not scene for scene, but plot point for, for plot point the same. So that's why I was like, they could pretty much start over. And you can tell that they're kind of doing that. All right, what what did they do? Well, they brought you back to a Halo ring. They want you to get back on a Halo ring. Uh, like, we understand why the game's called Halo. We don't actually need that reboot. Like, we don't need to be back on a Halo ring. You could throw, you could put this anywhere. We know why it's called Halo. 
right? But they're like, okay, we need to put them back on the Halo ring. Uh, yeah, like we were saying about Spartan Charger Ground Pound, they're like, okay, obviously they didn't like that stuff. They're moving that. It, it looks like they're moving on from that. Um, the gameplay looks very Halo. I it, in that little short clip we watched, I shoot, feels like forever ago. Um, it was a year ago. Yeah, in that short clip we watched, was there any running? Because I didn't. I, I like I said, I don't think they're removing sprint. Yeah, yeah it there was. was. Okay, so assassinate the hill. Right, right. So there's running. At least we know that's in there. But my fear is that. Um, because this is always what happens with, with, with like fans is the main thing. Anytime anything anything changes, they're just like, oh, you changed something. It's like, of course we did. Like you would hate it if we didn't, but of course you're gonna hate everything we do change to. So I'm afraid that they're trying to like please those fans and 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 so what they would have to do for me is not do that. <laughs> that go back to what the original Halo was necessarily. I get it. There are some core things to Halo, but I think that uh, excluding four and even four was still Halo, right? Like yeah. the the reason it didn't work was because it was Halo. With it was like a Call of Duty, like a Halo skin on Call of Duty. But except for like the characters are much more clunky and they survive longer. Like Call of Duty, like whoever went, whoever sees whoever first in Call of Duty usually wins that fight. Like that's the way that game works. Halo is the only shooter I know where you can turn it around. Like. Oh, they caught me, but I can, you know, if I'm the better player, I'm gonna, I'm, I can still turn this around oh, and, you know, when I turn around. Well, that's a more, more, more likely on Halo you could revert, you would do a reversal, but you right, can do it. like you can do it in Call of Duty too, right? If the, the I'm saying if the disparity is large enough between talents, so if if um. You know, me, I stuck at Call of Duty. If I'm playing it, and, and you guys who are probably much better are playing Call of Duty, and I start shooting at y'all, yeah, of course you could turn that around. But that's probably because I haven't hit you yet by the time you see me. So, but like in Call of Duty, you get hit, it's pretty much death. But Halo is kind of like, okay, you're getting hit, but like you, if you're calm and cool, you can turn around and you got good accuracy. Like you're always in the game, which is what makes it fun. So I don't, I think that most of the Halos had that. Right? I think Reach yeah. did a good job of of being Halo and but still adding new stuff. So they yeah. go like a Reach route where Reach was uh, the most different Halo uh, in Absolutely. terms of adding adding to the game. Right, um, Four just kind of played off of Reach and then added that Call of Duty stuff. But Reach was the most different Halo, and it wasn't. I don't know anybody who hated Reach. Um, I didn't hear much complaining about Reach, so but it was the most different there Halo. Was, there was definitely a lot of a lot of people that didn't like the the bloom. In, oh, uh, in, right, 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 right for the for the DMR, yeah. right? If that was your favorite gun, I can understand that too, because the DMR was went from being a very easy gun to use and like very DMR very deadly. Showed yeah, up on Reach. Yeah, right? it was like the first. Yeah, the first DMR, um, because they. Oh, okay. Was, so that was the thing. Like that was like the big controversy at the time. It was like, oh, there's no. There's no BR. There's a single shot. Oh out. yeah, yeah. I remember that. No, you're right. I remember yeah. that because I remember the battle rifle was the best gun. I remember thinking that too. I was like, why is the battle rifle only? Why is it single shot now? Like I, yeah. I didn't even think about it. I thought it was the battle rifle. Just they like oh they took. I never read the name. I was just like I picked it up. Looks kind of like the battle rifle. Shot it and it. I was like single shot. It's weird. Yeah. But, but I don't. I don't. I think the bloom thing I'm, I'm not accurate anyway it doesn't really matter what the reticle does does it i'm shooting in a direction hopefully it hits something so I, that was that was never my issue but that's a small that's a small thing right like that's that's that can be fixed with server like like that cannot serve well, that can be fixed in the code like you can release a patch and fix the way a, ga a gun names and right? actually they did they did uh um they, you see you know you ever notice when they put that tu in front of like uh, team slayer Mm -mm. It stands for a title update. So it basically means that the bloom is uh, over time. They've reduced the bloom because um, everybody was complaining about it. And so um, all of the, the giants like on matchmaking is, is TU, which means title update. Mm -hmm. And that's basically like the reduced bloom. So it's like okay. a little better now. But the original bloom was like you shoot that shit like three times. Your fucking reticle is like out <laughs> here and shit. <laughs> You're like, God damn. You have to like turn it. Yeah, I liked and that and that's the thing I liked about it. It was different. It was still Halo, but it was different. It added a whole different layer to it. Um mm -hmm. but yeah, that that uh that that fan base that like was mad that 
there was sprint in the game like that that shit is ridiculous like that is completely I ridiculous reach. i enjoyed reach. reach is probably three and reach are probably like my favorite i would say i think um, reach had the best campaign in my opinion and that's weird because so the only one without without master chief but it was just i think that the team of Spartans is more interesting than the yeah. single one badass who goes through and wipes everything out. Like I, I'm always an ensemble person, so I just like how it was like a bunch of different people. And uh, I'm convinced that obviously the one that we never saw his face was black, um, which I <laughs> thought was a little disrespectful. I was hoping that we get to see his face when I knew he was gonna die because they all died. So I was like, okay, he's about to uh, die. One of them survived. You well, never one yeah, one of them like got away. Yeah, they like got away. They never cause... really like expand, ex, like, uh, expound on that. So you probably make another. They, uh, there's a reach book, so I probably if you finish that, you'll know what happened to that. Yeah. Character, but um. Uh, I used to read the books. This nigga Maurice is out out of control. Um, what was he say? He said, "Oh, he's like, oh, Final, y'all see that Final Fantasy Seven remake." On PS5, I think the beta is out. Oh, y'all recording? Xbox sucks. <laughs> Xbox is boring. Just, Xbox is boring. This man is just said. the 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 ultimate troll. He just doesn't he doesn't know no better though. But yeah. you can't you can't save nobody. You can't. You can just you can lead a horse to water. You can't make him drink. Uh, that, is, that is very true. true. What was I saying? That horse wanted that horse wants to die of dehydration. You can't do nothing about that. Keep- yeah, not about to get yeah. dark. Talk about somebody. Speaking of not leading a horse to water, but I'm not gonna do it. Oh, don't do and it. Don't do it. <laughs> but but yeah. So, um, my fear for Infinite is that they're gonna do this whole please the original people and and yeah. if you if you if you look at it in history in the history of like trying to do that like. It never works when you actually do what they say. It never does. Yeah. 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 Like you got to do something good that they're like, hmm, yeah. That. But you, but if you do what they say, because they don't really know what they want. Yeah, that's like, the problem. They don't, it's it, you. They it, think you they get, do, but... Yeah, one one person might be smart enough to look at a game and say, "This is what I don't like." But the moment that an entire mob is saying it, it's almost always wrong because it's 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 been diluted to its most simplest points which means it's, it's useless information at that point right like you might be able to like if it if it's point by point i would i'd agree but most of the time you just hear a bunch of yelling about oh, i hate this and that's it like, don't don't fold make make yeah. a cool fun game uh i'm not excited about that. i'm just not I, yeah i, I never maybe. wanted one maybe i'll like it though to me it's like what? Say, say what you said you never wanted what did you say you didn't want? Never grappling loop. Like I've never oh, like yeah. we all, we already had we went from jetpacks and now we're now we gotta Tarzan it. Like <laughs> that's not like, even Batman doesn't use grappling hooks anymore. Like he's he's over that. Yeah, yeah. Like, Going back a, in time and shit. Like remember Batman used to have the little grapple hook thing you saw shoot in the anime yeah. series? <laughs> he just gets in the jet. <laughs> like yeah. Nah, I think I I think that um, I think the problem is that um, Microsoft didn't do a good job of uh, padding Halo, so that basically meaning like they had to rely on like basically three franchises over the last like um, last generation to sell the Xbox, and so I think that you know Halo is. When Halo came out, when it was at, at the top, it basically, you know, one, two, and three. Um, three is when they, you know, Call of Duty came into the game, and that's when the, the tide shift. And um, I think that Halo is just not the blockbuster game that it used to be. And I think that's fine. But at the same time, Microsoft doesn't have anything to fall else to fall back on. So... Like you, you, you don't have like any other franchises where you can say like, okay, like these games is is gonna sell you an Xbox, but by the way, you can also play Halo and Gears, like you know. And I think that, you know, that that type of pressure on that franchise when there's so many other like players out now, it's just it's kind of like a losing proposition. So I don't think that 
Halo. I think Halo Infinite will be big, but I don't think it'll be what they envision Halo to be or what it used to be. Um, because there's just a, it's just a totally different game now. Like, um, there's there's so many other first person shooters now. It's a totally different landscape, and I think it's fine. Like 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 we all said, like there's no other shooter that feels like Halo. Like no no other one. Like uh, nobody's ever like come close in terms of the core gameplay of Halo. Um, I don't want it to sound like Halo. That's that's another subtle issue I had with four. It didn't oh, yeah. sound like no it. no monks humming oh. in the background. Like, the I, soundtrack I was totally is. different. Yeah, yeah. They, they, it, it had a real, like it was like music music. It like was... Reese switched it up a little bit, but like it still felt correct. Yeah, hey, I need I need my monks, uh, like whatever that Reach probably has the best. Is. Reach probably Reach and ODST probably had the best soundtracks. Like those them giants. Yeah, Reach was yeah Reach was the pinnacle, because I remember like seeing those commercials, on TV and and that that theme song playing. And I was just like, man, every time that shit come on, I just get goosebumps. Like get them drums going. Da, 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 da. I was just like, ah oh, man. Reach had the piano, right? No, nah, that was uh, uh that ODST. Big? ODST. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I do have this question. Do you think Infinite is going to have a battle? A battle royale. Yeah, mm. they said no, didn't they? I'm gonna need them to stick to that. I, like, see, no. I don't know if it's see, like a war zone. Like, uh, I mean, do not want. Technically, five has a war zone, but no. if they do, it's gonna be a 300 gig game. Yeah, no, well, they're they're already releasing the multiplayer free, so I'm assuming it's already gonna be the kind of game where you download multiple versions, like Call of Duty. Like, I think. I think what Halo would probably do is that they would they will give you the tools to make a battle royale, but then they'll let people like make Most their own battle royales. Yeah, like with Forge and shit. Um, I think that's the angle that they can kind of take with that to be like, all right, we're not going to we'll let because you do a battle royale or some shit like that. The only reason I ask is because this open world kind of makes it very easy to slide into that that thing and I, I i play warzone with my siblings so um i'm terrible at call of duty though so i'm i'm a definite liability um isn't it kind of crazy that like call of duty just jack warzone i mean it's not like it's not like that it's it's tr maybe it's true I, I i'm sure it's warzone is like used a lot of places but halo 5 has warzone yeah I, I i when i say it and think of that i'm like but they're so much they're so different one's so much more so much worse than yeah. the other yeah um but yeah nah that, it, that's how that's how little respect halo 5 gets nobody even like thought of that no, was like, no, and, and halo 5 was probably yeah, like excuse you know what you're right you're right like, you know uh, what am i trying to do hey, to say hey hey we 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 have warzone shut the fuck we, up yeah, exactly. Call of Duty's like backhand, like and sit your ass down. I was just—I mean, if you I wanted mean, to be nice, I would appreciate if you at least asked. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna ask. No, we ain't doing that shit. I'm just, just gonna keep it. We ain't doing that shit. But yeah. I was just saying, the open world thing is weird to me because, like, right now I don't get why you need an open world in a shooter, and I and I don't get it. <sighs> just a so bad it, it's just a it's just to justify like you know you got all these people who are like okay how much is the game is it 70 dollars it must be i want to play this game for 200 bro. hours i want to play for 200 I gotta hours think, it's like seven uh, you gotta think 70 percent of people are gonna get it on game pass at least 70 percent i would hope so if they're smart and then multiplayer is free so all right yeah, so multiplayer is free, yep. free to everyone so you you gotta think that I don't know anybody who gets Halo and is like, that campaign is the best. Like, even if you play the campaign, that's just because nobody is online right now. You're like, and I'll play through this thing. Like, <laughs> who's playing the campaign? Who's buying Halo for the campaign? No, I mean, and maybe yeah. I just... There's a, the there's, a, there's a lot of people. So that's the thing with... um That's the other thing with Halo 5, that it broke a lot of rules where... You know, it broke oh, the no whole switch no screen. switch screen. Um, oh, me and my brother used to be every Halo together. They they ruined they ruined brother bonding in, in the Nelson household. 
So I mean that's like a huge thing with uh with Halo. It's like what what's the first thing you do? You play you co op the campaign and mm-hmm. then you jump into multiplayer, but it just like completely was yeah. like, nah, like you can co op, but that motherfucker gonna play on a different Xbox. And on a different <laughs> Xbox Live account. Like y'all 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 paying us yeah. twice. It's tripping, man. It tripping. Like they like over 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 what? Like I don't even get it. And their and their excuse was like, "Oh, the the we're trying to we're doing it for your gaming experience." I like will say they kind of have a point there because I remember Halo 4's engine was struggling on those Forge maps. Like I remember when you split screen, and uh, the performance on them giants was it was, it was bad. It was bad. That's their tech. They need to level up. I was about to ask. Yeah, Aren't we buying a new system though? Isn't that what this is? Like we got a new system. Oh yeah, no, they me? have no excuse now. No, no, no. There's no yeah, excuse. Yeah, like now. I don't. Want they didn't no have excuse. an excuse back then. They need to level up. <laughs> like <laughs> get it done. People are people are writing I mean, code Gears, out here that Gears works. had split screen, and that's technically way more impressive than than Halo. From a yeah. graphic standpoint, for sure. Yeah. You know, but Which, that's like heavily optimized. That's people that know like you know they're can heavily optimize the unreal engine i was about to say um, that's unreal though right and i don't think halo's even like it's not on unreal no it's what what they built their own thing right yeah what's that shit called um it's like uh i forget the name of it it's like a it's like stars it's Slip, slip space. I think. Why well, they even waste time? Slip space. Because you know they're gonna get rid of it next time. <laughs> Go ahead and get that id in there. Oh, that's that's. I think that's the next Halo. That's that's definitely gonna happen. They're is, gonna have that id tech. Gonna what? It, um, it tech. I don't know what that is. The Doom, the Doom engine, basically. Uh, like. Can you imagine that? Like that Doom. That's like... what, like, I'm kind of secretly hoping that, like. Halo, well, 343 just doesn't get the job done on this one, and they just, like, give it just give it to it, you know? Can you imagine, like, having, like, the option to have the gun dead center? Like they have in Doom? Oh, in Doom? Yeah. Like, that would be interesting. Um, But, yeah, so, I mean, I, I think we're all cautiously – uh optimistic, optimistic. <laughs> for halo infinite i think you know 343 has just been playing with our our, our hearts for the last 10 they years have not, they have not been kind. almost 10 years yeah <laughs> and you know from multiple angles you you know you had the halo 4 which was which was i they weren't even alive when they started this and they only have a couple games out <laughs> yep you can't even count mcc because most of that code is not even theirs nope Nope. And you know, if it started off as an intern project and the interns fucked they it up and then, up and then now they, you know, they had to take the actually put some uh some uh senior devs in there. Yeah, they had to hire for that. Um but I mean we, we oh. hope that, that Halo Infinite is gonna be good, um, you know, for haters like Maurice to finally see the light and, and he don't um, want to be saved. Don't save him. He don't want to be saved. <laughs> J, J. Cole. <laughs> Can't save her. Yeah. I was yeah. just don't want to be saved. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah. So, this concludes the first video in our Road to um, Halo Infinite series. Um, the next few videos, uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about in depth uh, each one of the Halos. We're going to rate them. Um, we're also going to talk about... Um, just like the reaction um, of the uh, most recent showing of Halo Infinite. So hopefully um, this is right before E3. Um, hopefully we see some good news with Halo Infinite at E3. Are we supposed to get film? What'd you say? Are we supposed to get footage? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. We're supposed game to get multiplayer. gameplay. Yeah. Gameplay. Might get a beta. On the poster. How, how disrespectful would that be if they didn't show it and they put it on the poster? <laughs> <laughs> playing too damn much yeah i'm telling you i mean that so, that would be part of course for uh for you know three four three the uh, best thing that could happen to me on that on that uh playthrough is that we you know we get this halo that they're talking about and at the very end they spartan charge a person to death 
in multiplayer. I think I think hey, you I agree with you. And have my money twice already. I'd be like, I just giving you this is just a tip. Just for doing it right. <laughs> I have my money I, twice. I completely I wanna see Spartan charges, ground pounds. I want to see boosts back and forth. Like I want to see all boosts. The- Absolutely, the boosts is. You I was trying to boost in Call of Duty this week. Like I was like, and I was just, I was like, oh shoot, they saw me, and I hit the B button and just duck down to get mowed down. Because like, I'm so used to like, as yeah. soon as someone sees me and I'm not ready, to shoot, just boost yes. them back in safety. And then I couldn't do it. No, nope. Call of Duty is just duck. I'm telling that you, Halo, Halo Five gameplay wise is it is tight. It is it is uh some of the best like FPS like gameplay out there. But you know it has a it has some stink to his name. So um you know if you haven't tried Halo Five yet, um try the multiplayer. You're gonna get you're you're gonna get destroyed. We won't even you know beat around the bush about that. You'll you'll definitely get destroyed on there. Um, but you know, at least you get to enjoy the uh, modern Halo, um, and and kind of see maybe what Halo Infinite is going to be. But I, I doubt it's going to be that 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 same. No. Um, Five is fun though. I, I mean, I, I I lose all the time. So the fact that I'm still playing, like it's it's, it's a fun game. Like even yeah. with the the fact that I'm getting murdered three to one every or that's being generous. It's more like five. <laughs> <laughs> Like it's still, it's still like, uh, it's just a fun game to play, and I think you'll get murdered kind of, but there's matchmaking, so it's not like when I mean, Carl and I play, we don't lose, and then Preston gets on and we lose exclusively. Like when Carl yeah. and I are playing, we're one and two on the board almost every time, and then Preston gets on with us, and it's like, okay, oh, okay, that's great. how you get to be one and two when y'all just playing, cause you going up there with him, getting your ass beat by fucking diamonds and onyxes. And then Dude. you go back down to your, you know, to your scrub ass level. And you're like, hold up, these niggas ain't shit. These niggas aren't even moving. <laughs> like, Go I grade two, imagine, baby. Yes. Imagine bullets like Neo in the Matrix. Like, you know, <laughs> hey, <laughs> I would say you're welcome. Um, <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, in addition to upcoming videos, we're also going to be doing a lot of Halo streams um, leading up to uh, the release of Halo Infinite. Um, so please stay tuned to that. Um, again, my name is not Cirque. Again, we had Beasternal, Creates Activity, Negrito Suave, Nas and KBH. We are the Blurred Dimension crew. This is the Road to Halo Infinite. Catch you all next time. Oh, subscribe to YouTube. Make sure you just uh, follow us on Instagram and also follow us on Twitch. And you will be able to subscribe pretty soon on twitch as well so so yeah stay tuned have a good one peace somebody should hum us out with the the smokes go ahead hit it that's all i got (laughs) terrible